we were clear that we weren't making up core values. We were mining these from the congregation. And we wanted to hold on to this tension between what we always want to do in terms of valuing tradition and while at the same time remaining relevant and vital in ministry today. When you sing these songs and you memorize them in many cases, they're imprinted on your heart. And it's like a, like a stone under the stream that's molded by years and years of the flow of the water over it. Not just transforming the lives of those you touch, but also being open to transformation itself, let, allowing Christ's love to flow through you. God puts that goodness back into the world, into people. And so I believe all people are children of God. He created every one of us. And, and again, Tulsa is an unusual place. Our chapter of the National Conference of Christian Jews was one of the strongest in the nation. We have one of the biggest Martin Luther King Jr. parades in the nation. We have one of the biggest gay pride parades in the nation. Tulsa is an unusual place that doesn't always get the, the credit that it ought to have. You know? What I've realized as we've been using these core values now for several years is what a guide and anchor they've become for us. These core values and the fact that we have articulated these gives us a different kind of ability to move through the storm and the turbulence, steady, continuing to be vital. I hear from pastors and churches every week that are being battered by the storm in a way that's really different than what is happening to us. I think one of the reasons that we've been able to be sort of a lighthouse to others is because of those core values.